Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shima and this is In Plain Sight Tarot and I am back with another pick a card reading for you guys and this time this pick a card reading is going to be a special one because it is a collaboration between me and Danae from Either Ascended, okay? So if you guys would like a follow-up to this um, reading, you can go, go ahead and check out her channel at Either Ascended. Um, she's an amazing tarot reader, a very very good friend of mine, um, my own soul sister, definitely we are we're definitely um, soul sisters from, I don't know, some other planet or something. But yeah, uh, go ahead and check out Danae at her channel, Either Ascended, for the follow-up to this reading. So her, uh, we decided, we both decided that we were going to do a different title, but connected. This reading will be connected. So if you came from her channel, then uh, this reading will be connected to your reading. And uh, if you came from my channel, you're going to your to your channel to her channel. Um, this will be uh, the connection to this reading. So she will be doing the title, um, the topic of messages from his or her higher self, messages from their higher self, and um, my title will be my topic or title or whatever. My topic will be, what was it? My topic? <laughs> my topic, um, how the person on your mind views you, okay? How the person on your mind views you, all right? So uh, we're gonna be looking into that. Um, if you haven't already checked out um, Denise's channel at Either Ascended, you have to go ahead and check out her channel. She's an amazing, amazing, amazing tarot reader. Um, I can't stress that enough. And uh, yeah, beautiful girl. And um, yeah, let's just get straight into the reading. As usual, we have three pals to choose from. Okay, three. And I'll, I am still going to be choosing from this deck right here. I'm going to be exhausting this deck maybe for another few pick a card readings and then I'll change the topper okay? right, so some of you uh, were saying that you wanted to see the uh, the pictures up close up you can see on my thumbnail okay on my thumbnail it's all there it's much clearer on the thumbnail um, I might go back and take a picture of the, the 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 cards themselves, but yeah, if you can just you know make out what the images are. Use your intuition, all right? Okay, so pal number one, pal number two, pal number three. How the person on your mind views you right now, okay? So pal one. We have the Eight of Wands. Okay. Eight of Wands. Pile two. Four of Pentacles. Okay. Pile number three. We have the Nine of Swords. Okay. So I'm holding these up together, pile one, pile two, pile three. All right, take a good look at your cards, pile one, pile two, pile three. How the person on your mind views you, okay? So once you're ready, you can go ahead and choose your timestamps and we can get straight into pile number one, all right? That was, that was, okay. Oh, I forgot to put my incense on, all right? So, yeah, okay. <laughs> Always.
person on your mind. Part number one. This song is called Different This Time. Okay. Different This Time. The person on your mind, Eight of Wands. The person on your mind. How does this person view you now? Okay. Oh, you, this you is glowing, sweetheart. You glow in the dark. You are glowing right now. And this person wants to come in and communicate with you, whoever it is that you're asking about, okay? The person on your mind. And I've noticed, you know, in previous readings and also even in my uh, personal readings that um, a lot of past energies have been trying to infiltrate the reading, basically. So I intend, right, I intend for the reading for this person is for no infiltration. It doesn't matter if it's from the past. Maybe some of you do want to hear messages from people from the past. But some of you don't, you know, but if you do find yourself um, being met with energies from the past that come in infiltrate in your, in your reading, that's something that you need to ask within your energy too, okay? It's, I just read the energies, all right? You can't get mad at, the energy, all right? There is still a connection there. And if that's something that you cannot, you know, you, 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 you can't accept, you need to do your shadow work, all right? So what's that, what's that saying? <laughs> Don't hit the messenger, you know? Don't hit the messenger. Is that, that's not the saying, <laughs> that's not the saying. Whatever it is, okay? So I'm just giving you how I interpret the energies right now, all right? So if you don't want to hear something from the past and it, keep, if it keeps cropping up in your reading, then you need to do some sort of shadow work and you still haven't done some, something. You haven't, you haven't dug up something, all right? And looked at it and released it, okay? So that's just a message for some of you. I know this is going to be, uh, this, I'm supposed to be getting into the reading, but whoever chose this pile, this person sees you as glowing, right? And they want to communicate with you. Look at all the fireflies, or is that fairies around you? I don't see. Fireflies. Fireflies. This person sees you as magical right now. But you're unbothered. You see that face? You're unbothered. Okay? You're really unbothered. <laughs> You've got your crown on, you know. Uh, I gave myself this crown, you know, like, um, I'm unbothered, leave me alone. I don't want to speak to anyone at the moment. Um, I'm just really enjoying me, my time, and with. Me, myself, and I. That's what I'm hearing, okay? Silence. This person sees you as someone who is being silent. Okay? Silent. What should I use? I think I'm going to pick all of the cards out first. If you're complaining, if you think I'm taking too long shuffling, then do your shadow work. Be patient. All right? <laughs> Do your shadow work and be patient, for God's sakes. This person thinks that you're secretive. You're being very secretive at the moment, all right? You're not, you know, you're, you're really not disclosing a lot about yourself. Secrets. This song is called Secrets. We have Alethea, all right? Someone might have the uh, name. I'm, I mean, this sounds like a name to me, okay? So you might have a name that sounds like this. 
Sophia. Ali. Hmm. Yeah, Alethea. Okay, let me see if we have Alethea. I think this person views you as someone who's... You look like you're not... I mean, I don't think you're playing any games with this person, but I think this person thinks that you're playing this push and pull game with them. Okay? We have the prayer. Okay? The destroyer. Give me a second and take all the cards out first. This might take a while. Fire ant, tiger. Someone here could be definitely fire sign here. It's all fire, all right? You could be a fire sign. That's definitely what I'm getting. Right? Um, so this person, how do they view you now, okay? And how does this person view you? This looks like the same to me. You are the center of attention for some reason, but you're not paying attention to you being the center of attention. For some reason, there, there are people who have, you know, they're, they're paying attention to you, you know? Uh, they, there are people who watch you, there are people who um, are interested in, uh, what you're up to, what you're going to do next, what you, your next moves are. Um, I think you have also, you know, gone through a glow up, so people are intrigued by uh, how you look, how you, uh, how, maybe some of you uh, dress differently now, maybe some of you are changing up your hair, maybe some of you have, uh, you know, changed the way you do your makeup. Um, you've gone through some sort of glow up. Maybe you, you, you've, you look a lot fit now you know you look a lot fit and you're very proud of yourself and i think that you're really like uh this is like sitting up on the throne and you know you're like this piece of sugar i'm, I'm seeing this in the middle here as a piece of sugar and everyone just wants a piece of it you know like all these ants they're like swarming right all these fireflies you know fireflies and fire wow fire ants so much fire I'm getting Queen of Wands with this, okay? And this is also Eight of Wands, right? Yeah. This person, they want to communicate with you. They really want to come in. But they do see, it's, it's almost like they have to, they have to get through a crowd of people just to speak to you, you know? When, when I feel like when this person comes through, Something is happening for you where you are being thrown in the limelight or you're going to be um, the center of attention here, okay? There's something about you being the center of attention, but you don't give a fuck and you don't, just don't care, you know? You literally are in your own energy and the more, the more you... It's like you're, it, you're within, you know? You have your eyes closed, but you see, right? It's like you, you have your eyes closed, but you see. You see inwards, right? Okay, right, so. And I think this person, yeah, this push and pull thing, they think that you're playing games here. Like you're, 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 you're deliberately doing this or something. It says here, take care, enemies are working against you and problems to be resolved. Yeah, I don't know whose energy I am tuning into, but you have 
you have people who are working against you. You have people who are trying to bring in problems for you. You, you have people who are trying to mess up your 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 flow, your vibe, your um, you know they, they want to. I'm, I'm hearing they want to knock that, knock your your <laughs> knock you off your high horse. Yeah, that that's what I'm hearing. Some people are feeling like you're you're a bit. Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I guess proud. No, no, proud is good. You're proud of yourself. You know, you're you're. It's more like these people see it as you being egotistical, but you. It it took you a lot to get to this space. You know, of you really not give a fuck. Not giving a fuck. Where is my grammar, really? Of you really not giving a fuck. You know? I, I, I even hear it, it, someone say it in a sing-songy voice, I don't give a fuck. You know, like that. Like, I literally don't care. Right? Um, that's what I'm hearing. problems to be resolved. These people around you, how they view you, they think that you're in some sort of problems right now and they think that you, uh, you know, you could have some haters here, you know, and I think this person knows this or this person uh, is aware that you have haters, okay? So with the prayer boot Increase your life if you want to achieve your glows, yeah, glows, goals, glows, your <laughs> and sunrise, new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. You know what? I think what you've been really doing is just connecting to God, connecting to spirit, connecting to to your own energy, connecting to. I'm hearing I am. The more you understand yourself, the more you understand others, okay? With the prayer here, and with boot and sunrise. <laughs> this person sees you as, and they, they, I think this is not one person that views you this way. There's a lot of people who view you in, a, in, in different ways here. You're very fierce, you know, look at that fire, you know, more tiger, Fire, Leo energy, okay? Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, definitely here. Sunrise, right? They see you as this, you know, don't fuck with me energy. Don't fuck with my peace. Because if you fuck with my peace, bullshit happens, right? With prayer here, I don't know. You have a very close connection to spirit. And it's almost like, do you see this? Spirit is always like, Spirit, your I am is always protecting you. Okay? You're protecting your creativity. You're protecting your downloads. You're protecting your... 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 Ideas. What you've learned at the moment. At the moment. Okay? How does this person see you? A prayer. Boot. Sunrise. Tiger. It's almost like I'm seeing boot, sunrise, tiger. It's almost like I'm seeing like a cowboy right off into the <laughs> sunset or sunrise, right? Um, yeah. Because these look like cowboy boots. So, so someone here might have cowboy boots or you, you might wear cowboy boots or you live out you know where uh i'm i'm really uncultured when it comes to the u.s where, where do cowboys come from well where pff, the country <laughs> okay um yeah so you could be where cowboys are from all right um you could be out out west yes uh you could be you know, into that um, 
culture. Uh, they see you as just, they, they, they view you as just like, you know, leaving everything behind. And you're looking towards new horizons here with the sunrise here. And you're ready to, to just boot and kick anyone that's in your way, that, that, that gets in your way, you know? Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. You, people see you as, um, or this person, if you're asking about a specific person, but I'm hearing like in this specific pa, it's people, okay? People see you as you increasing your efforts and basically achieving your goals one by one you know um going after your creative new creative ideas your new ventures and you're protecting this fiercely and you're like i don't give a fuck about what's going on outside because you know that you can't control anything that goes on outside of you all you can control is you here in the present right you can't control other people's reactions you can't control how people feel about you you can't control how people are going to talk about you, you can't control any of these things, how people view you, you can't control any of these things until you look within, until you realize that the more you understand yourself then you understand others. But I'm also hearing it, through the law of assumption, you actually can, but you have to do it from within. You understand? Okay. That loud. All of a sudden, it felt loud. I thought that wasn't loud. Yeah. So. This person is seeing you, you as someone who is just leaving everything behind and going after what you want to do, what you love, uh, your life purpose, your soul purpose, what you, you feel you're guided to do on earth, you know? <coughs> and this is you co-creating with spirit, right? Wow, look at that. The destroyer, money path, a path with money is waiting for you to find it, pin, new job, career, and camel look at that would you look at that you are destroying anything that is in your way of your career i feel like whoever chose this pal this person or people view you as someone who is very highly career focused um you could be somewhat uh coming into a time where you feel like a little bit of a workaholic you could be coming into a time where you're getting a new job uh you could be coming into a time where um you're accumulating a lot of um, money all right and mm, these people view you as you know <laughs> I hear I'm gonna fuck anyone up who tries to destroy what I've built here you know you are protecting your turf that's what I'm hearing. I think this person um, or these people see you like a, a little bit like a short fuse, okay? Like you might you might have like outbursts or you might have uh, temper tantrums, uh, not not like big ones, but you do you know when you get angry you get angry, you know. That's what I'm hearing. And you have every right to be because you know. If you have people who are trying to create problems for you and you have people who are working against you with bat and ink pot here right people are trying to you know it's, it's almost like with ink pot here I'm seeing someone with an actual input uh, I'm, ge I'm getting this vision where someone's trying to write with an ink pot uh, with an ink pot really trying to write with ink right and someone comes over and just tips over the the ink pot you know and everything that you you you've been writing or you've been yeah you've been penning down just gets ruined right so this is what these people as a metaphor is trying to do you know they're trying to like tip over your ink pot 
Okay. Someone can have a Batman sticker somewhere on their car. That could be significant. I'm seeing a Batman sticker on a bumper. Hmm. But you are fiery right now. Also with Camel, I'm seeing like uh, you might be traveling long distance. Soon. You might be traveling for work. That's what I'm hearing with Camel. Uh, I'm hearing migrate. For some reason, I'm hearing migrate. Uh, someone is migrating. And you're laser focused on destroying anything and and like you're ready to just let shit go anything that is in your way people who are in your ear telling you can't do something or you shouldn't do this you shouldn't do that you, you're in this space where you're like no i'm going after what i want <laughs> you know yeah so anything else should i take out the towel i hope it didn't go over too long I'm trying to make a vow to myself that each reading only lasts 20 minutes. So I'm trying to rely on my intuition on, <laughs> on when to stop. But anyways, okay, just three more cards. How does this person view you? Someone who's getting a lot of attention to you. You're, you're, you're beginning to get a lot of attention. People are definitely paying attention to you and you're looking for peace. And like I said, there's, there's a healthy balance though to your fierceness. You're fierce because you're going after your dreams, your manifestations, what you want, you know. There's nothing wrong with that. Right? Wow, strength. Strong Leo energy in this pile, okay? Str uh, strength. Are you kidding me? The Empress and the Wheel of Fortune. You got three major arcanas. Pile number one. Bottom of the deck, we have Hermit. Four major arcanas. Are you serious? The Hermit. You're keeping to yourself this person and these people see you. You have a big... Wow. You have a big... Um, I guess mission or... You, you, you have a big dream. Okay? You have a big dream. You have a desire to go after something. And you're going after it with the creator here. You're definitely creating this. You have all... Major Arcana is here with strength. People see you as so fucking strong, resilient. You don't back down. You're not backing down. You are a powerful, powerful manifester here with the creator. Okay? You could be a masculine energy. You could be more in your masculine energy right now if you're not a masculine. Okay? You're keeping to yourself, even though you have all this fire and you're, 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 you're ready. It's it's not like you're ready to attack. You're ready to defend. That's 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 what I'm hearing. You're ready to do, defend your dreams. Yeah. You're not someone who attacks. You do you see this? You know how to tame, you know your your fierceness, this tiger. But you use that. You use that drive. You use that passion. You use that anger, right? You use that anger to go after your creativity. Again, with this Empress energy, you are creative. You're abundant. You're looking gorgeous. You're glowing. You are, look at this, harmony, beauty, luxury. This person sees you as someone who is absolutely, you know, it, just living, even if you're not living in luxury right now, you look luxurious. You have the energy of luxury, you know? Empress. 
and wheel of fortune. Your wheel is turning. Look at that. So you might have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Taurus, Libra, um, again, Sagittarius, Wheel of Fortune with Leo again, um, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, right? Uh, you're definitely protecting your Wheel of Fortune here. You're making sure that it's turning. Do you see that snake coiling around your the fire, water, air, and earth here. Destiny. You have, uh, you feel, I think this person sees that you have some sort of destiny to fulfill or you, you have your own. I think you want to fulfill your own destiny. You're, you know, it's like a self-fulfilling destiny rather than prophecy. You know, that's what I'm hearing. And I'm hearing what better way to create your, or to, to predict your future than to create it, you know? Is that a thing? I always forget this shit, you know? Like, uh, <laughs> what, um, What better way to predict your future than to create it, right? With the creator here. Gorgeous pal number one, this person sees you as someone fierce. You can't be messed with. You, you and your energy, you can't be messed with. You have strength, you have power. You are highly enlightened with a hermit here. You keep to yourself, you're not hurting anyone, you're not out to you're not out to, to hurt anyone, but you will defend yourself if some if if there are, you know, fuckers around you trying to spill ink all over your work, you know? Trying to ruin your creations. Yeah. You're an empress here. All right. And you're ready to tell anyone to fuck off if they don't agree with you. You know? Okay, so pile number one, I hope uh, that reading resonated with you. If it didn't resonate with you, you can go ahead and choose another pile. If it did resonate with you, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell so you guys get notified on future uploads. If you'd like to book a personal reading, it was just one, one, one. If you'd like to book a personal reading from me, you can find my e email details down below in the description box. Email me there and I'll send you the rates. Thank you so much for all the bookings, for all the donations, for all the likes, for all the comments, for every single thing, you guys, especially the donations, you guys. Who um, I know I'm really, really bad with names, but I see you and I always, you know, um, I'm very, very thankful for those of you who have contributed to my channel so far. And yeah, thank you so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye. Hi, pal number two. Hold on, let me just change the energy. Pile number one was powerful. Whoever chose pile number one, you're powerful. You are strong, powerful, and soft at the same time. I don't know why I'm still talking about pile number one, but I think some of you came from pile number one. If not, then some of you might be thinking of watching pile number one. But anyways, I'm going to stage the energy so I don't pick up too much on the same type of energy. So pile number... Two. You chose four of pentacles. How the 
person on your mind views you now. You see this little princess? <clears throat> I just noticed that she was sitting there. She's like right there, right? You see that? She's looking over. This person feels, uh, they view you as, I think they feel like you're waiting on something. You're waiting. Yeah, you're waiting on something. You don't see that thing is coming. You see this frisbee. There's like a frisbee thing up in the air here, and it's coming behind you. You don't see this thing that's waiting. Some of you might be waiting for something. I'm picking up on your energy. You're, you're definitely waiting on something. You're waiting for a communication. You're waiting for something to happen. I'm here. You're waiting for something to happen, or you're waiting for something to uh, pop up. But you're not going to see it pop up, even though you're waiting and you're looking because you're not. You're not going to be looking in. That direction when this thing comes through for you okay um, I don't know if you guys are waiting on a house uh, because she's in a house here and she's looking at a reflection you know it's almost like she's looking at a reflection this house is upside down too okay of a house but it's a different house no it's not it's just overturned oh wow Okay, so the, there's there's this, if you turn it upside down, there's a dude with a dice face here, okay? <laughs> so maybe you're waiting on communication from this person, this person is waiting for communication from you. You know, it's almost like the two of you are mirroring each other and you're both waiting on each other. That's what I'm hearing. You're, you are waiting for communication and this person is a bit puzzled with the dice here. They don't know if they should be taking a chance. They want to take a chance, but they don't know yet. That's why their head is in a dice. It's like they need to take off their head and just throw it somewhere. <laughs> okay? And see what number comes up. Anyways, so... Um, yeah, this person needs to just take a chance uh, when it comes to... Um, I think they're seeing a lot of synchronicities. That's what I'm hearing. They're seeing a lot of synchronicities. And they see... They also see that you're very similar to them in a lot of ways. You mirror them in a lot of ways. And actually, if you are waiting, this person is waiting too. So there's, it's, it's, a, it's a bit weird. Like the energy between the two of you, it's like very mirroring energy, okay? Um, and you're, the both of you, I'm hearing, are a bit stubborn. You, you don't want to move <laughs> from where you are. Um, I'm not making a move. This person is also saying, like, I'm not, I don't know whether I should make a move. I think this person wants to make a move, but uh, they don't know whether they should or they don't know when. Um, that's what I'm hearing, okay? Uh, and you, you're just, you're, you're just waiting. You're just, like, you know, you're, you're waiting. Okay, but you're not seeing there's something else also coming in behind you. You know, there's a frisbee here. Is that a frisbee? Well, it looks like one. It's actually a button, but it looks like one, right? So it also looks like a UFO, <laughs> a spaceship. So, you know, you you, you guys may be um, star seeds, you know, you might have shared souls in different galaxies different planets different realms different uh different what's that called timelines you know okay everything you can imagine is real it was real at some point and it can be real at some point too well that's strange so this person is a bit puzzled. You're, you're both puzzled about each other. You're both trying to figure each other out from a distance. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, so you guys can skip this part because I'm going to be shuffling a few decks and choosing them on camera. So, one, two, three. Um, 
how the person on your mind views you. Call number two. How the person on your mind views you now. Oh my goodness, yeah, this person is de definitely, I think I'm going to leave that one there. That just, oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> yeah, okay, so I'm going to leave this one there. That flew over there and that wanted to land right there. Okay, so, <sighs> I think that's enough shuffling. Um, clumsy in this pile for some reason okay so this person sees you as a little bit clumsy or you're confused this person sees they, they view you and their relationship confusing they see it as confusing they see it as you know they, they feel like they're they fumble all the time they're always doing the wrong thing i think this person beats themselves up for always making a mistake they, th they keep thinking that they're making mistakes when it comes to this relationship okay they keep thinking that they mess up they keep thinking that they're making mistakes they keep they keep i think this person wants to you know they're confused as to why they're like this when it comes to you okay they fumble around you I think it's like it's, it's kind of a nervous energy it's cute but at the same time this person you know it it, it hinders them from from communicating with you because they feel like I feel because I'm seeing with the dice here they feel like if they they, they say something it comes out wrong or um, word vomit I'm hearing word vomit and this person um, doesn't want to say the wrong thing or doesn't want to come off wrong to you. That's what I'm hearing. Okay? So, wow. <coughs> wow. Look. The dead end. They're confused. <clears throat> or they see you as confused. Okay? They see you as confused. Someone working against you behind your back. Right? Why am I getting like, hmm. Pile number one had a similar card, which had a similar message to this, but it wasn't the same card. Okay, we have star, guaranteed success, right? And sneak. This person sees like there's no way to get to you or there's no way to uh um like there's they're trying to look for a way out of this dead end they're in they feel stuck okay with dead end it's basically stuck but they're trying to push their way through this do you see this hand in the middle they're trying to push their way through through all of this fog and all of this uh confusion all right the confusion is because maybe um someone working against you behind your back is because there is maybe you know energy manipulation here at play because i'm seeing with all these like it, it's all like tangled cords or something you know it's like chaos okay right so they're trying to push through that and um they're going to i think you are they see you as going through this I don't know if you guys have a very um, telepathic uh, connection with each other, all right? This person might play with their hair a lot, okay? They might um, fidget with their hair a lot. They might fidget with them <laughs> themselves a lot, okay? Um, they see you as being very protective. They view you as also protective 
over them. They, they, I think this person feels like you, uh, you think that they did something wrong. Okay? I think this person views you and thinks that they're working behind your back or something. You have that view of them. They think that. All right? With guaranteed success and sneak here. Yeah. Um, they feel... You're very protective. I think that's what they think you are. Let's see. You have the king. Okay. You have the king. We have dogs getting together with friends. Um, we have tulip, great passion. <clears throat> and deer. Okay. So this person views you. Okay. They view you as someone who is really sweet. Okay, you're good. I think you're good with dogs or something, or their dog, uh, their dog um, responds well to you or something, or you know, and you might have. It doesn't have to be dogs. You might have a good relationship with animals in general. Okay, and they see you as someone very passionate. Maybe you are passionate about animals. Maybe you are an animal activist. Maybe you do, you know, yeah, you do care for animals, you know, and um, they actually see you as someone who is childlike, um, a little bit naive too. That's what I'm hearing. They might think that you're a tad bit naive. You're not, you're just watchful, you know. Or that you, you have the wrong idea about them. That's what they want to see. It, it's all a mess. It's like it's, everything is confusing um, because there are people, I don't know, I, I don't see this someone working behind your back. I see it's energies. You know, it's, it's, it's almost like a lot of energies are working against you, per se. Okay? Um, and you're very protective. This person views you as someone who is being protective. But they, they do see you as a shining star. You know? They see you as someone who is also destined for success. With Snake here, I think the... They think that you think that they're a snake. Okay. This person. Yeah, they see you as someone quite innocent though. You're very innocent. You're, you're, this, they, they see like uh, a purity within you. They, they, with the king here i think some of you are actually you know about to meet with an actual king here okay well not not an actual king i mean i mean one of the kings um <laughs> i mean uh yeah um the king suit you know like king of cups king of wands king of swords king of what's the other king the king of uh pentacles right so you're going to meet or you're I see I think they see you as maybe falling in love with someone else or that you're having fun with someone else getting together with friends um, with passion here also great passion maybe that you're you're having sexual relations with other people with um, someone else that's how they view you uh, they think that you're um, connected to someone else here the king um, we have the mentor psychic ability trust your intuition 
Well, they see you as a teacher. Okay, this person this person views you as a teacher, a mentor. This person also views you as having taught them something. Psychic ability, trust your intuition. You definitely might be um, uh, psychic here. Okay. Maybe pile number one was your energy. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah. You taught them. How to tap into their psychic abilities. That's what I'm hearing. Wow, Fox. They see you as someone who is um, also that can be very sly, cunning, shrewd, stubborn, and aggressive. Okay, you could be an Aries here. But you do have psychic intuition. Psychic intuition? Yeah, you have good intuition. Okay. Hmm. For some of you, I'm getting the message that, that this person actually does think that you were working behind their back. Um, well, ooh, yeah, with guaranteed success, you were working behind their back because you were uh, uh, chasing after some sort of su success. Okay, this is their view. Okay, so if it's uh, if it doesn't resonate, it doesn't. But for someone out there, I think this person views you as you know um, undercutting. That's what I'm hearing. Undercut. Views you someone who is cunning, yeah, with the fox here, snake, I'm seeing a lot here with someone working behind their back. Um, yeah, this person. But I don't see as, I don't necessarily see this person as not trusting you though. I don't necessarily see this person as not trusting you because I think this person actually, actually admires your gifts, admires how cunning you can be. They admire your, the way you use your psychic ability, okay? They also admire like your stubbornness and your aggressive side, okay? Why am I feeling hungry all of a sudden? I'm literally not hungry. Indecisive too. I'm hungry, but I'm not hungry, you know? Like, yeah, indecisive. This person sees you as someone who's a little bit indecisive. Lol. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Um, let's see. So you might have Strong that earth. That's earth. Strong earth in your chart. Two earth. Capricorn 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 Taurus Virgo. Uh and I was sensing Aries. Okay. All earth here. Okay. Three cards. Wow. Temperance. Knight of Pentacles. We have Temperance, Knight of Pentacles, and Ace of Cups. Wow. 
Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords. This person could be an air sign, or they, they might have a strong air in their chart with the Knight of Swords here. This person could be younger than you, they could be a little bit more erratic than you, they could be a little bit more uh, impatient than you, they could be a little bit more, um, yeah, clumsy, clumsier than you, um, rash, highs and lows, conflict, tension, highs and lows, conflict, tension, okay, so yeah, this person, um, they see you as someone, I think this, <laughs> this person sees you as someone very calm, in the midst of, in, in, even in, in thinking that, you know, like, I mean, even knowing that you were in the presence of a snake, I don't know why I'm, he I'm hearing that, like in the presence of someone who was lying to you, you were still calm. You were still chill about it. I think this person underestimated you, definitely. They, under, they underestimated you, yes. So you might have Sagittarius, yeah, Earth, or water in your chart. This person sees you as someone who knows how to do things in moderation. You're very healing to them. Uh, you are, you, you might be a healer actually, or a teacher here with Temperance and the Mentor here, okay? So you're very balanced in the way you do things. Um, they, they feel like you're very patient and that you work very slowly and that you take your time and that you're stable, you know? Here it says prosperity, benefits, and investment. This person sees you as, yeah, with uh, the Knight of Pentacles coming up here, as someone who it was supposed to be a good investment to them. But I think now you are connecting with someone new that definitely, I don't know if, this, if it's this person that you're asking about, or because with the Knight and the King here, I think this person, you know, there's a ways to go before they can get to King, right? They still need to master the queen. Yeah. Energy. Knight of Swords. And the king. Yeah. So this person sees you as someone very patient. They view you as, they view you as a little bit naive. I think that's how they viewed you, a little bit naive at first. But they just realize, I think they realize now that you're just, uh, you know, you're someone with who, who has a lot of great passion, right? You have a lot of passion. You, you, you have a lot of drive. You have a lot of fire, I guess. And getting together with friends. Yeah. And Ace of Cups, I think this person, whoever you're asking about, could be falling in love with you, or they do have a lot of self love. You, they see you as someone who has a lot of self love, okay, with the Ace of Cups here too. And I think they do love you in your entirety. Even though they see, you know, these qualities within you that would be deemed, uh, you know, negative, but they're not, right? You just know how to protect yourself. You do it in a way that, you know, is a little bit cunning, okay? And, um... You're a good teacher, though. You would make a great teacher. The mentor here in Ace of Cups. 
because that's what you love to do. You love to teach. And if you do things with love, like, and it's, especially if you're teaching about psychic abilities, you know, if you're teaching others how to tap into psych, your, their psychic abilities and to trust intuition, how to trust intuition. Yeah. And they admire it. They admire your, you in your, all of your entirety. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. So pile number two, that was your pile. I hope that reading resonated with you. If it didn't res resonate with you, um, you can go ahead and choose another pile. If it did resonate with you, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell so you guys get notified on future uploads. If you'd like to book a personal reading from me, you can find my email details down below in the description box. Email me there and I'll send you the rates. Thank you so much for all the bookings, for all the donations, for all the likes, for all the comments, for every single thing, you guys. I truly appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video, okay? Sorry, pile number three. So, you guys chose the Nine of Swords, okay? This person feels like you're 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 a bit timid. Okay, I think this person feels like you're a bit shy. They see you as someone who's shy. And uh, Nine of Swords, do you see this? Like you're, there's these two girls hiding away. You hide yourself. I think this person sees you as someone who hides themselves. Okay, this bunny rabbit here. <laughs> I think uh, this person sees you as having an irrational fear of something. Because that's literally a, like a giant bunny, you know. Right? I think bunnies would still be softies if they, if they were giants anyways. Let's pretend like there's a giant bunny right beside you. They'd still be softies, right? Especially the ones with floppy ears or something. <laughs> so yeah. Um, this person sees you as someone who is uh, I see with this like all these blocks uh, wow I'm, I'm hearing like your your inner child is fearing something like there's there's an innocence to you okay um, you could have some fears connected to your childhood that happened uh, during your childhood and this person probably senses it they view you as someone who has been hurt in childhood okay it doesn't necessarily have to be like uh, in anything intense or anything but but something that happened to you as a child that we yeah uh, that traumatized you a little bit so they see you they, they see this this side of you i mean okay and i think maybe you at first when you met this person you might have tried to you know hide this part of you i think this bunny here I don't know why I said bunny. Someone have, might have that nickname, bunny. Or you might have a bunny. They see you as a little bit timid and shy. Okay. Right. And then you're worried about something. That's the Nine of Swords here. Something is uh, keeping you up at night. Something is, um, maybe, maybe something from the past is still haunting you. Time to time, you know. Mem memories of the past, I'm hearing. Why am I shuffling this deck? No, I'm actually going to... 
I'm going to be using that later, but let's choose three cards from this deck first. Okay. How does this person view you? How does this person on your mind view you? How? Number three. Three. Um, three cards from this deck. How's the person on your mind for you? How does the person on your mind for you? One, two. How does the person on your mind for you? The good ones, but they know that you're you're a good one. You're one of the good ones. That's what I'm hearing. You're one of the good ones. They see you as a bit shy and timid and. Um, worried about something or yeah uh, what else this I don't think this person sees you as someone secretive they just feel like it's hard for you to open up This could be vice versa, I'm hearing. Okay. So like I said, when I do th these type of readings, how this person views you, sometimes I pick up on both of your energy, so take it where it resonates, okay? So let's see. We have the box. Yeah, the box. With the box. Kite, vacation, pig, beware of greed. Kite, vacation, pig, kite and pig, beware of greed and uh Buffalo. Okay. All right. So they see you as a little bit stubborn. That you 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 don't want to think outside the box. Like you're you're staying kind of uh, like in your in your safe space or in your safe zone. I think that's how they see you. All right. They view you. Um, beware of greed. I feel like this person feels that you're very self-protective. This box here, and that you feel like if you. You're slow moving too, I'm hearing, with Buffalo, you're, you are you like to take your time and uh, you know, with the thunder here at the background, like you're worried, it's almost like this Buffalo is worried about uh, thunder that is happening far away from them, you know, like, it, something about worry here, you're worried about something. You, mean, you might be worried about family uh, issues, you might be worried about um, other things, not necessarily fear, fears, but yeah, there's something about family, vacation, and I feel like you're taking your time out, that's what I'm hearing, this person sees you as someone who is vacation, um, taking time away, that's what I'm hearing, taking time away from whatever it is that you're taking time away from and um, I mean with beware of uh, greed here it's almost like they feel greedy if they ask for your time that's what I'm hearing it, it would feel greedy of them to ask for your time to even talk to you or to because you're dealing with something or you're you might be dealing with a lot at the, the moment Okay. So we have the offering, crib, birth of birth or conception of a child or enterprise. We have lighthearted, carefree time, and scorpion. Okay. So some of you might have Scorpio in your charts. 
right? Uh, this person wants to come in and offer you something. Okay, they want to offer you something. Um, with crib here, it's like maybe maybe to move in together. That's for some of you. To move in together or to to work on a project together with crib here. Birth or conception of a child or enterprise. Like work on a project together. Care, carefree, light-hearted, carefree time. This, this person wants to see you loosen up, basically. They want to see you loosen up and not be so stingy, right? With scorpion, they, they, <laughs> yeah, loosen up and 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 you know, I'm not saying you guys are uptight, but maybe you, you know, you're not into the chewy fun stuff. You know, sometimes you know you just want to like, you, maybe you prefer to be, you know, in the dark, and you prefer to be. Uh, hidden and you f you prefer to be by yourself and yeah and greedy with your time right okay so maybe this person actually does see that in you okay but they do want to come in and offer you something so you might have earth fire and also uh, Scorpio okay but this is fire and uh, water yeah shark okay shark why did I open that first but anyway so we're gonna be looking into eternal child carrot opportunity or windfall candle you'll be shown the way and shark Wow okay so this person sees you as someone very innocent actually with eternal child here they see your childlike qualities they see that you're very actually you're very in touch with your inner child but you also have fears that that crop up from your inner child too that are still that you know um, maybe some things that you're still you know dealing with some things that you're still uh, uh, processing right um, this person sees that within you and they see you as someone who is actually some like like they feel like they hit the jackpot with you okay when they met you because you're showing them the way somehow or they want to show you the way see that's the thing i, I was getting like at, in the beginning of the reading i didn't have like this problem so much with pal number one pal number two but i'm i'm sensing like it could be that your both of your inner child's inner children inner child's inner children have been connecting with each other you know you you bring out childlike qualities in this person you could be you know rough around the edges you could be dark on uh, on the outer you know you could be stingy you could be a little bit snappy sometimes you know but they see they, they actually see what you're protecting yeah you shark here you're, you're 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 protecting your inner child basically they see you very protective of your inner child you will be shown the way and you're actually in this way you're actually showing them you know how to be protective too of themselves okay there's something like with this the scorpion and candle here it looks like you know you're showing yourself your own way and this person is following suit it's almost like this person wants to take uh, a, a page of your book or something that's what I'm hearing they, they, they want to be more like you I'm hearing they I think this person wants to emulate you in some ways okay emulate
I don't know, you could be, you know, this person might see you as a little bit rude sometimes. <laughs> I don't know why I heard, I heard that. But, you know, you could be, you know, uh, sometimes you're rude or you might, you know, butt heads with things, you know, with buffalo hair or you, you might be a little bit stubborn um, or you could, uh, I don't know why I'm hearing this, like, you know, There are some qualities about you that are I don't know how to how else to to, to say this, but you know like uh, a bit dark or not not dark, snappy. It's like you're easily annoyed, you know. <laughs> you know you're you're easily annoyed and you're 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 easily irritated. Okay, I think that's how this person sees you. But at the same time, at the same time. They also see the side of you where you are you're, you're so childlike in your ways you're so honest you know in the way that you are like this if you're annoyed you're annoyed you know that's what I'm hearing <laughs> yeah shark You see, you're very protective of yourself, and and I think you're showing this person the way, and they admire you in that sense. The things that you probably think that people don't like about you, you know, you being rude, and and sometimes you snap at people, or you, you know, your your, you know, you have you you know your your quirks, right, your stuff what makes you you right but this person admires that in you because they want to emulate more of that i think yeah so that they can protect their inner child too their innocence i guess right so this person sees you as someone who <coughs> you know you can have a they, they can have a light-hearted carefree time with because you're just so comfortable with you know being you right You know, if a kid is annoyed, they're annoyed. They'll tell you if you're annoying or not, right? A kid will never lie. If you're annoying, if you're annoying to them, you know, kids don't lie, right? So this person knows that you are operating from your inner child. Something like that. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. So we have ten of wands, the mother star. Wow, ten of wands, the mother star. Some of you might be. Uh, single parents here okay i'm hearing single mother single father goodness sakes wow again the star nine of wands look at that the star nine of wands this person sees you as a star okay one more you guys got more cards than the other pals and bottom of the deck we have page of cups page of cups uh, you have the world too that came out here gorgeous you guys this person sees you as a star you're able to handle like difficult times you know even even though you are you know a bit snappy you you're very you know self-protective of yourself and you're you're not you know all sunshine and rainbows 24 hours right 
It's because you... That's not the Nine of Wands, that's the Seven of Wands. Because you're very protective. You're, you're a mother. You, you protect like a mother. Like I'm hearing like a mother bear or a mother cub. A mother cub? A mother bear. Mother bear? <laughs> Mama bear. Yeah, mother bear. Yeah, like Mama bear, Papa bear. I was just talking about that to uh, my daughter just now, Eva. The mother star and seven of wands. This year is a very protective mother or father, okay? And you're protecting, you're very self protective. It's almost like you're very self protective because you know what you're protecting this eternal child within you, okay? Your innocence. You will be shown the way and you're showing them how to glide through life, glide through the world. Or you're opening up new, new ways of, uh, you know, um, seeing things for this person. And this person, I think, wants to come in with an apology. Okay. You could be dealing with a cancer here, chariot, right? You could be a cancer. They could be. I see he's a star. In that you are wish fulfillment to them and that, you know, you're very highly protective of yourself and they know that if they, are in your territory and if they, they, they uh, are in your vicinity or in your side, in your, in your side, on your side, you would be fiercely protective of them too. That's what I'm hearing. And with the world here, they see the world in you. Just like honey. You're like honey. Reward, success, completion. Yeah. They feel like you would complete some part of their life with them. This person wants to connect with you, yeah, <clears throat> but they want to have like a lighthearted, carefree time with you. They want to get to know you. Yeah. Okay. So, um, the signs that I'm seeing that you might be dealing with is I'm seeing Aquarius. This could be. Uh, sun moon rising venus um the world is capricorn isn't it the world um and all the fixed signs which is taurus scorpio leo aquarius again okay scorpio earth fire, water, okay? So, pal number three, thank you so much for coming to my reading. Um, I forgot to mention in the last two pals, oh my God, I forgot to mention in the last two pals because when I'm in flow, I'm just like, I, I just forget everything else. But, <laughs> um, please, please, please do remember to go check out uh, Denise's channel uh, either ascended uh, because uh, I'm doing I'm actually doing this reading as a collaboration with her and uh, if you want to unpack your reading further or get more for further information about uh, whoever it is that you're asking about um, uh, yeah whoever it is that you're curious about you can go ahead onto her channel and 
um, check out her readings there. She's an amazing tarot reader. She's an amazing uh, friend. She's an amazing. She's a soul sister to me, and uh, yeah, and definitely go and check out her channel. She's really good. And uh, yeah, if you, I hope that reading resonated with you. If it didn't resonate with you, you can go ahead and choose another pile. If it did resonate with you, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell so you guys get notified on future uploads. If you'd like to book a personal reading from me, you can find my email details down below in the description box. Email me there and I'll send you the rates. Thank you so much for all the bookings, for all the donations, for all the likes, for all the comments, for every single thing, you guys. I truly appreciate each and every single one of you. And it's 2 2 2 right now. And I will see you guys in my next video, okay? Bye.